Hey. Our today's project is uh, to use our Raspberry Pico Wi-Fi, grab some MQTT data and show it on the Pimorini display. In some tutorials we created already MQTT broker services uh, like Mosquito. Um, for example, for our solar uh, system we published solar information and I wanted to see this information not only in Node Red uh, on the dashboard, I also wanted to see it on a little display somewhere. And I had this uh, Pico display pack uh, here from uh, Pimoroni and I had a Pico uh, W, so a Wi-Fi Pico. And that is what we are going to do today. So we will take the Pico W, we will connect to our Wi-Fi, one chapter. We will grab some MQTT data with our Pico, another chapter to see how to connect to a broker and grab some information. We will show this information on the Pico display, another chapter. So the Pico display uh, from Pimoroni is quite nice. It has some buttons and we will show how to put some data on it, some, some uh, text. But we will also take a look how to deal with the buttons and I will use um, interrupts for that. So there is plenty to learn on this project from Wi-Fi of the Pico, MQTT with the Pico, the display handling, interrupt handling and so on. So I think it's a nice project and we will use, I don't know, maybe three um, tutorials, videos uh, to cover all these topics. Let's see and let's go. Alrighty, if we want to use wireless functionalities, the easiest way is to get a firmware which has Wi-Fi uh, libraries already baked in. We can get this on micropython.org and you can download the latest uh, nightly build or the stable one and install it on your Pico W. However, later on we want to uh, use the Pimoroni display and also here are some libraries necessary and it's easier to have the firmware with these libraries baked in again. So in this case um, we also find two different versions, one for the uh, Pico and one for the Pico W. And this is the one we need, so please download this firmware here and put it on your uh, Pico. We did this in the other tutorials, you simply hold the button down of the Pico, you connect it, you will find it as a folder in the Explorer and you just simply uh, copy the file on the Pico, it will reboot and it's ready to go. Please set your interpreter to MicroPython if not set. This time we will not use CircuitPython but MicroPython again. And then you're ready to go. You should see the same like I do here. Maybe not my JPEG files and my library is already a little bit uh, extended but you can do this later. So just start now with me together to install the Wi-Fi. During this project we need several libraries and the first one is the network library. This is the library which is baked in if you use the W firmware and it's necessary for everything we do uh, with Wi-Fi. I also take the time library already because the time library is also useful to create some delays or whatever we need. And now this is important. You need to define your SSID like this. Um, write your real SSID in and a password like this. Yeah, so your VPA, uh, WPA key uh, or whatever you use. Um, I will do it a little bit different. I put, did put this in a separate file um, which I called WLAN codes and the reason is that I don't want to hide my password all the time. So I have this extra file here. I can take this out but you need this. Okay, that's important. But we will start with something which doesn't need the SSID. We will do a scan of SSIDs around. So first of all we need to define our WLAN interface. We use the network library, uh, the method WLAN and we use the network standard interface that is the Pico interface. So now we have our Pico interface defined here. And we can use our interface now. Uh, we have to set it to active. So we use the method active and set it to true. Now the device is there. We can simply check this by doing a scan 
and printing the result. And you see that I get some information here and it's a yeah, longer table. It's easier to put this into some elements. So we create a for loop element and I use the same scan now, but I print it step or element by element again. And I should use colon here. And you see all the rows with my SSIDs somewhere here around. Okay, now it's very easy to connect. We just need the connect method and we just have to pass over the SSID and the password, password which I have defined in my file and you should define here also in the file. And that's all. When we now start, we are connected to Wi-Fi if it works. How can we check this? We can use the shell and there are three commands existing. So first of all, we can use the is connected method and it says true. So this method gives true or false if it's connected. Then you can, uh, if you are connected, you can use the if status, no, it's not status, sorry, the if config. And it gives you the information about your IP address, your subnet mask, uh, your DNS and your server. And uh, the last thing which is existing is the status. It is called simply status. And you see we have status three and I will um, show you all the different status which are um, described in the Pico manual. So if you uh, want to see more details, I can recommend uh, this document here. I will set a link. And when you take a look at page 16, there is uh, explanation how we should double check if the um, connection is successful. We will copy and paste uh, this example because it checks for the status. Uh, it waits the max of 10 seconds and checks if the status is okay. If so, it says break and um, switch uh, to the connected information and says, hey, IP and so on. If it's not okay, if it's an error, it says also erases the runtime error. So perfect for us, we will copy this. Okay, let's first uh, create a function from our existing code so that we can call it from other locations and let's call this from our main line here. Um, I didn't do this before because if we create a function, maybe we can do this together. Now I stop it and I restart. And when you now try to access your, f what shall we do? Let's say we want to print our WLAN is connected. It will say, oh, WLAN isn't defined. And that's because it's not a global variable. We will deal with global variables later. Um, you can do it like this. Yeah? So you define it as a global variable here. And maybe we set uh, none. But here we say, oh, global. Uh, WLAN is global and when you now do something like this and you try it, it works. However, we don't need this as a global variable here, but later on we need some other global variables. So maybe it was already a good, um, a good thing to talk about this. Okay, I did this now without you to accelerate this a little bit. I took over the error handling and it's nothing else as we discussed already. Um, it will check if everything is okay. If it's okay, the break will come. Um, if it's error three, it will create a runtime error. And if it's okay, it will say connected and it will give us the status and print the status, but only the first array part of the array so that we just see our IP. You remember it was IP and DNS and so on. And we will just show the IP here. So that is the demo code and as you can see it's connected and shows my IP and this is the base for the coming things so we will use this function here 
and our WLAN connect um, to connect to MQTT and so on. Okay, that was step number one. We are connected with the world because um, we could do HTTP requests now and uh, there are some examples and you can play with it maybe until next week because um, our next step is to connect to our MQTT broker. Um, but several other things are now possible with a connected uh, Pico. So play with it and next week we start with MQTT. Step number one is done. We are ready to rock the world and uh, next time we can start with MQTT and I think the fancy stuff followed by our display topics. See you next time. Autumn is coming, huh?